I'm the singer-songwriter Tasia J, and this is why I'm vegan. So what is a vegan diet? Someone who does not consume any animals, what I always tell people is nothing from a face or nothing that had a face. Personally, I'm a very strict vegan. I don't do honey, I don't do cheat days. I don't wear, I don't use animal products. I'm very cautious of the things that I buy to make sure they are sustainable. So not only am I vegan, but I'm also cruelty free. I don't believe in animal suffering in any form. To wear, to eat, to use. Five reasons why I'm vegan. Number one, vegan food is delicious. You can have wonderful food, if not even tastier food on a vegan diet. And you don't have to miss out on anything, obviously just the animal product itself. There are so, so, so many alternatives in 2024 where you do not have to consume animal products in any way. The second reason that I'm vegan is because animals have no slack. So I feel like I can at least play my part to help. They are used for leather when it comes to purses or shoes or cars, couches, and furniture. They're also used in makeup products, which is like eyeshadow. They'll use fish scales for that or lip gloss. They'll use whale blubber. So make sure when you're shopping for products for your home or for your face that they're cruelty free as well as vegan. Your household products may not have animal derivatives in them but that does mean that they're not being tested on animals in labs. Number three, farm-raised animals are unhealthy, contaminated, as well as suffering. The way farm animals get treated are unethical and inhumane. You have to think that that energy is being transferred to you in some type of way because you consume it and put it into your body. If you've done your research and watched any slaughterhouse videos or visited a slaughterhouse, which I personally have myself, I'll link it right here, it was a zero out of 10 experience. They're stuck in tiny cages where they can't even turn around. They're separated from their young. With pigs, they actually keep the mother alive to keep breeding more babies and they'll slaughter the babies and use those for bacon. So I challenge you to go watch some videos on how your food is being made and see how long you can get through the videos. The employees who work in these slaughterhouses are often faced with mental challenges because they are working in conditions where morals are practically non-existent and it really takes a toll on their own mental health. And the trauma between the animals and the workers is creating a senseless environment that we just continue to sweep under the rug no matter how much the world is being affected you have to think that animals who are in extreme terror and trauma are the things we're putting into our body and i'm convinced that's why so many of us have mental health issues because number one we're not even eating meat that lived happy free fulfilled lives we're eating animals that are contained and traumatized and terrified number four animals are too smart, too cute, and too cuddly to be eaten. I personally have a spiritual connection with them. I feel like it's my life's purpose to speak for the animals and be the voice for the voiceless. And number five, meat production pollutes the air and we waste half of the animal anyway. It just seems like there can be such better use for these animals than our own selfish needs. I'm gonna throw in an extra one just to be fun. This is number six. You can have more energy than meat consumers anyway. And that's if you do it right. And I'm not here to say that everyone should be on a vegan diet. That is not my whole goal of this video whatsoever. I'm just here to say that you can try out a vegan diet a couple of days a week just to reduce your carbon footprint and just to encourage companies to make enough meat for people who are absolutely in need of it instead of gluttony that exists in this country and it's beyond overwhelming because we have so, so much overproduction that is unnecessary. So all I ask is that you just consider eating vegan a couple of days a week because it's just fruits and vegetables people come on and beans. Like you don't eat these things. I promise you, you can get all of your protein, all of your nutrients on a vegan diet. Just be mindful of the things that you're eating. And it's likewise, even if you're not a vegan, you may not be getting all of the vitamins and supplements that your body needs every day. So just be mindful of these things. You will feel so much fuller and so much happier just because you're actually taking care of your body and putting delicious, healthy stuff into it. And this is why I'm vegan.